Hey everyone, welcome back to Vic Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and on this video, I'm gonna show you how I take out my holiday trailer and get it all set up so it's nice and level. Alrighty, you guys, so once you kind of pull your trailer into the position where you want it to be at the end, first thing that you gotta do is you have to hop inside and you wanna make sure that you're level kind of from left to right before you unhook from your truck. Uh, for me, what I do, is I have just a real small level with me. Uh, just some cheapo that you can pick up from any can tire, home hardware, whatever. And basically, you set it on your floor and you look in that little bubble. Now, as you can see, it's a little off, so you have to kind of chase your bubble. So when we lift up, when we lift up that end, the bubble comes up. Now this way, it's not 100% perfect. You can have a little bit of defect in your floors, but for the most part, it's the most accurate way. You can either do it there, or if you're a real perfectionist, you can take your level and you could put it across the tongue of your hitch. And again, it's not gonna be 100%, but that would be a little bit more accurate than on your floor here. But for the most part, it's it does the job. So again, you can see our bubble is over here on the far side. When we, when we chase the bubble, so when we pick up that end, the bubble comes up in the middle. So, simply put, what we gotta do, we have to lift up the other side of the holiday trailer. Now, to do that, you do not use these. Those are stabilizing jacks. What I do is I bring two by fours or leveling blocks that you can buy. And what we'll do is we'll back up two tire lengths back. So these two tires will come to over there. And then what we'll do right in front here is we'll lay two by fours or two by sixes or those plastic leveling blocks there. And then you drive ahead, and when you drive ahead, your tires come up onto those blocks. Then that way, as it comes up, it'll simply tilt this end up, and then we'll chase the bubble. So what we'll do is I'm gonna back up the truck, I'm gonna put down my two by fours, I'm gonna drive up onto them, and then we'll recheck to see how level we are. Alrighty guys, so we got our tires up on the board there. Uh, because we had to come up so much instead of using a 2x4, I don't think a 2x4 would lift it up enough. This one might lift up almost too much, but that's okay. We'll go in here, we'll check our level, and we'll see how we are sitting here. So now with our level still sitting here, you can see our, our level of the bubble is slightly, slightly too high there. If we pick up this end, just that little hair, it levels out. But I think we're going to leave it. Uh, all of my drains and stuff are on this side of the trailer. So if this side is just a little low, it's not going to be a, the end of the world. It's... Uh, it's close enough especially when you're out in a place like this you can see the ground it's not level whatsoever so when you're out in a place like this if you're you know within that far on your level I call it good enough you're probably not even gonna notice it 
Alrighty, so now that we are fairly level left and right, now what we gotta do is we have to put up our blocks at the front here, get all detached from the truck, and then I'll show you how to level your trailer uh, from the front to the back. And first things first, we gotta take our chalks, we gotta chalk our wheels with these rubber ones. You can see there's these little teeth right here. What those teeth do is if this moves, hopefully those teeth will dig into the ground. So I'll put that chalk there, this chalk here with the teeth down, and there we go. Now the wheels are chalked, we'll move up to the front and we'll set up our blocks in the front. All right, so to start this off, what I like to do is I get rid of my little uh, friction sway control here. So with this one, you have this pin, then you have this pin over here. Simply pull it off of this ball here, pull it off of there. Then I just replace my pin so I don't lose them. Now we can take that, set it out of the way. Now if you have blocks that are going to be in the way of your torsion bars, you can remove these now. Uh, but with mine, I just use wood and it fits in here real nice and it stays out of the way these bars so what i do take my big block of wood set it down there and then what i do is i try to stack up as much wood or leveling uh leveling uh blocks that you have uh, as close to this footing as possible that way you don't have to jack this way up in the air Oh, there we go. We got our wood there. And what these, what this wood does too, is it makes a nice footing. So instead of all your weight going right here, this one tiny little spot, when you have big blocks like this, it distributes this weight throughout this whole area here. So at an RV park or something like that, it's not that big of a deal. But when you're out here in this kind of soft, sandy, soil and stuff if it rains and you don't have a wide footprint like this what can happen is this can sink in the mud and uh if that happens uh you might have some problems getting it back onto your truck and out of here so that's why i use such big long pieces of wood but anyways now what we're going to do is we're going to lower our jack put a little bit of weight on here and then we'll remove our torsion bars <coughs> All right, so now we have a little bit of weight taken off of the truck. What we'll do is we'll take our pin out. And with these, you always want to make sure that you're using your little metal pole. So if we put this in here, slowly lower it down. There we go. Now with this one here, this one has these clips so I gotta rotate my bar out of boat like that I don't know what kind of an angle that is so it's kind of slightly underneath your bumper now this one you have this pin here and you have to pull that out so like I was saying you have this little pin here you have to pick up slightly on the end and it comes right out others have a little notch and groove system where you pretty well turn it like this the notch here lines up with the groove on there and you basically put it into place and then it locks in where this one here there is this pin that comes in and locks directly inside here so we got this side done we'll move to the other side quickly get that one done as well all right so let's take this off simply grab your little safety clip pull that out take your bar put it up top there and when you're doing this, there could potentially be a little bit of torque in these. So just take a step back, stay out of the way. If it does snap, you know, 
you're out of the way so nothing's gonna hit you. Just like that, pull it down, take that off. And then with this one, because it's locked in with this pin, I can't just rotate it and have it drop out. I have to rotate it so the bar is slightly under the bumper. Pick up slightly, pull that pin, and it drops right out. Then I take this, put that back up, put the pin in here so we don't lose that. And now we're good to go to take this off the truck. Okay, so now that we have our wheels chalked, our torsion bars removed, I'm going to leave our safety chain and our breakaway still hooked up. And that is only in case of the one in a million chances. As soon as we unhook that, our trailer decides to take off that way. Hopefully, what will happen is it will hit the end of the chains and it will stop. If not, the chains break, it keeps rolling, it will grab that disconnect, it will pull the disconnect off, it will dynamite the brakes, and then hopefully it stops that way too. I don't think it has ever happened around here anyways, but just to be safe, I leave my safety chains and my breakaway all hooked up and i'll also go through that on the video that i made that i'll link up here and I'll also put a link in the description below on how to properly set up your trailer or hook up to your trailer but anyways we got everything all ready to go so i'm going to remove the pin open up the latch and we're going to take this off the truck so first things first take the pin out open up your latch pull that back Hit the extend button. And one thing that I do as I'm picking this up, a lot of times it'll be kind of stuck on the ball a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll stand here and I'll kind of almost bounce a little bit just to see if I can loosen it up. And you'll see that here in just a couple of seconds. I do that just to help it out a little bit. Sometimes it can kind of pull on to it and it pops off. Once in a while when I start getting up here, I just kind of stop jacking it up. That way if it does lunge forward, the trailer shouldn't jump back and it should come off nice and easy. So now here, we're clear of the ball. We put that in there. One thing that you can do too, if you're worried about people stealing uh, your trailer when you're not there, is you can get a hitch pin to go in here, or if you have a long shank lock, instead of putting this back in here, you can take a long shank lock and you can put it in there because you, if this is locked, see you can't open it up. If you can't open this up, you can't hook up to it. So a little tip for you guys if you're worried about uh, your trailer being stolen. Anyways, we're going to unplug it, take off our safety chains, take off our breakaway. We'll fire up the truck and we'll get it out of the way. Alrighty, so now she's time to pull away from the holiday trailer. Now, what I do, because we're all humans, and it doesn't matter how many times you've checked and double checked and you made sure that everything is disconnected, every once in a while, you're gonna screw up, or you're gonna forget, or 
whatever things happen so what i do i put my truck in the drive and then i just very very slowly creep away that way too if you are on some kind of a hill maybe too and your hitch comes up and it grabs the ball you'll feel a little tug and hopefully that's all that happens and you're able to stop right away without pulling your trailer or wrecking stuff or breaking something whatever you never know what can happen but as you can see we pulled away we're good to go now what we gotta do is we gotta go back inside grab our level and instead of having our level this way with the trailer we're gonna take it and we're gonna run it this way and then we're gonna just lower lower or raise our hitch so in that way it's nice and level Alrighty, so let's go inside here. We have our level. And if you look where that bubble is, you can see that it is actually pretty dang level. If we come down on the front, because we gotta chase the bubble, if we come down on the front that little bit, it'll be slightly better. And luckily with this one you can make those tiny little adjustments because after all you're just raising and lowering your hitch you're not trying to pick up the entire trailer kind of thing so because we need to be a little bit lower simply hit the retract it's coming down a little bit and it's not going to take much looking at the level there it was off by just a hair so now we'll come back inside and as you can see that looks about good enough might be able to go just a tiny little bit more so that's what i'll do i'll drop it down just another maybe half inch to an inch on the hitch and then we'll start setting up our blocks and we'll get our stabilizers down all right, so just like uh, the hitch there, you want a nice solid piece of wood or a big chunk of plastic. A lot of times too, if you have a round piece of uh, firewood, it works real well. Basically put this, grab your little wrench, start screwing her down. If you want another little pro tip, one that I haven't done myself, is that if you want to make this go by a little bit faster, you have a cordless drill and the proper size socket. I believe it's a three quarter, but don't take my word on that. You can use a cordless drill and use that for screwing these down. Makes it go by quite a bit faster and a little easier too. And with these, what you, what you want to do, is you don't want to lift up your trailer with these. So basically, once it starts to get a little tension, I give her another maybe quarter to half a turn and that is it now what we'll do is I'll do all four corners and then you're pretty well done unless you have a slide out if you have a slide out you put down all four you pull your slide out out and then what will end up most likely happening is the side that you don't have a big slide out on you have to come back and adjust them because it'll be maybe quarter inch actually off of your footing or off of your blocks and you just gotta tighten them back up but i'll show you that here uh once i put the slide out now what we'll do is we'll go inside here and i'll put the slide out and then we'll come back outside and i'll show you what it does to the stabilizers that are on this side of the holiday trailer because it is a fairly big slide so once we get this fully out, we'll go back outside and I'll show you the stabilizers. And I'll just kind of tell you what my understanding is on why it does this. Alrighty, there we go. So now the slide is all the way out. We'll come up here, we'll look at our stabilizing jack. And you can see it picked up a little bit. See now I can actually wobble it. Now 
I think my understanding what it is is because the slide is so heavy when it comes out there it doesn't necessarily move the holiday trailer what it does is it just puts more tension on the like the suspension of your axles on that side which kind of picks it up from this side I guess one way it could do is if I measured it but we're not gonna get into all that technical stuff basically what you're gonna do just come back around grab your little wrench put on there and just tighten it right back up unfortunately I just got one hand right now holding the camera but I'm gonna go around I'm just gonna tension up these two on this side and then that is it our tra trailer is nice and level left and right back and forward all four stabilizers are down slide is out we'll tension those back up and now we're camping so anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned a thing or two uh, from it if you did enjoy it please hit that like button uh, down in the corner uh, leave us a comment or two and subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one.